let me real quick give an introduction to development so we can code map reduce programs in various languages of course in pseudocode like we saw seen before but we can do it in java which is the natural language of hadoop in a very low level it's very robust redundant we can do it in python which we do a bit in the exercises how do we do it well we actually implement the map reduce functions and then we have a main method that controls the processes defining which mapper reducer to use, which combiner and so on, which input output formats and files to run. And then we basically submit this main method together with our map reduce functions and it runs. You can also program test directly, which is a bit tedious. We have a command line tools that run an application. Um, then, so we, we define here is our jar file, please run it, more about in the exercises. There are various tools for debugging and performance analysis that you find in the appendix. Here's an example now of our word count map and reduce function. We have a class word count. I don't want to go into too much detail here. You can read all this online. But we have here our mapper, which implements map reduce. We define here our input tuples and our output tuples. What, what are they? Pretty much so the key value pairs. And then in the mapper, we, we get our input which is here the value and we have an output collector which generates a key value tuple so the key is text output is our integer so the word and integer is the, how often it happened we've seen it right and here we kind of get this text and we tokenize the text which is a line of text and uh, every time we get a word we output the word and the number one. So it has to use these ARCWA types like int writable because these data types they need to be serialized and communicated and storable inside files and that's why you can't just use a native Java object but these objects here they are serializable. And the reducer right it does exactly what we have done before it takes a key which is our word and it takes um, values uh, which are of type integer writable and it sums up the values creating one new output which is the key and the sums and the end. And our main function here we get a word configuration you can check drop names we set the input key class key value and uh, the output sorry the output key class the output value class and the mapper reducer the combiner classes the input format, the output format, the input path which directs you to read all the files, the output files, and so on. And then you can say run the job. And now this jar file can be run. When you compile it into a jar file, this can be run. And you get hopefully the right output. So to sum up today's lecture, Hadoop provides the file system HDFS and the concepts for processing. HDFS is a single writer and multiple reader concurrency model. So you can write into one file, only one process can do it, but that's enough for our MapReduce because one reducer writes to one file. It's robust and highly available. With MapReduce we have our fixed function pipeline consisting of map and reduce functions, but we have a very reliable execution. And Hadoop 2 with Yarn has a refined architecture for better resource management. And TEST allows us to execute decks of computation with various configurations. So I wish you a great week and have a look at our exercises. It helps you to understand the necessity of such kind of architectures.